Moving on from that one, we also have news here, courtesy of Bergheim, regarding their New Year's Eve party. They finally announced the lineup. Everyone's been kind of on tender hooks waiting for it, and they finally put it out. And it's the reason why it took so long is because fucking hell, mate. Like, so many fucking DJs playing. I think, let's actually count them. Let's actually, how many we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20 in Bergheim only, room one. Panorama Bayou got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 there, right? Playing there. Back in now. XXX floor, I think you got maybe 10 and then 10. So maybe 50 altogether, 50 DJs or something playing. Crazy. Um, to be fair, my. My lasting memory of the last Club Sylvester I went to was the one that they had to make up for the year because I think it was a pandemic year and seeing Pablo Bosi in that XXX floor. I forgot the, what, what the room of it was called before, but it's the one where it's got all the fucking, it's got the platforms in it. It essentially looks like a, a scene out of a fucking movie, out of fucking Christine Air or something. It's so fucking cool. Seeing Pablo Bosi play, and again, if I'm not mistaken, the, the DJ booth is like up the stairs in some cage at the top like that. It's absolutely phenomenal. That, that memory memory will, will live in me forever and also getting kind of sunned by some gay dude who basically kind of brought me down a peg or two when i basically i forgot why i said i've met i got his pronouns wrong or something and he was like oh bless or something <laughs> and he made me feel like a fucking ant i was like oh my god that's when i learned how to okay i'm gonna shut up now when i go to spaces and just enjoy myself and stop fucking sharing some of my fucking opinions or just opening my mouth i'm just gonna you know open my nostrils only <laughs> and my mouth only for the pills but yeah um the cups of vessel lineup is fucking incredible it looks like it's gonna be running from the saturday the 30th of december probably until tuesday I don't think there's anywhere else. To, how else is it going to end? It's just too many people playing here. Um, so, Burger Main Room, you've got too many people playing here. Answer Code Request, Arthur Robert, Dario Colosoba, Don Williams, um, Edith Min, Fadi Moham, Fidel, Jacko Jacko, Josie Rebel, Big Up Her, Joanna Norman Noj, Face Fatal, Philippa Pacho, Quelza, who closed this past weekend, absolutely killed it, Steffi, Lady Machine, UAV, Virginia, um, Panama Bar, you've got Avalon Emerson, Bashka, Boris, Etap Kyle, Gabriel Kwarteng, um, Jason Kendi, Kiki Mello, Louis, oh Kiki Mello's playing at the new big up her. That's a fucking big booking, man. Um, Mario, um, Marie Moxamia, um, Massimo Pellegria, and Barkhammer, Octa Octa, Paramida, Partok, Roy Perez, Sedif Asti. You know, I haven't seen in Bergen in a while. Dr. Rubenstein. I'm thinking about it just now. Well, I wonder why she ain't playing there in a while. She was always there for a good time. Um, Suzy Ijo, Yun Sung, um, XX Floor, you got Boy Shores, Budino. So I guess they're continuing on the kind of house if I from Paramount on XXX Floor, kind of disco y, you know, indie dance, I guess, Phil. Boy Shores, Bodino. Carrie Morrison, Chris Cruz, Cormac. Oh, Cormac's one of my favorites. I love fucking Cormac. So good seeing him in uh, Adonis. One of the, the only kind of, you know, good things I kind of enjoyed about that night because I wasn't really in a good zone. But hey, um, Fran Scala, Mala Ika, Pablo Buzzi, Soundstream, again, who I'm a big fan of, great producer. And then in the salon, they've got Bendit Giske playing live, Bestie Hira, Tobias, Barker, um, Gina Sin Sin, um, Jin Sin. Gin Synth, Nick Hopner, Refracted, Richard Aking, Richard Akinbin, and the seventh plane. But yeah, that's fucking stacked. That's probably gonna go on until Tuesday. There's no way the house that they're gonna have all these people playing. It's also on Saturday at fucking, you know, twelve AM, like eleven fifty nine PM. So it's definitely gonna go on until fucking Tuesday. So again, um <laughs> if you if it's your first time going I don't know if I'm going to recommend it because it's going to be fucking rammed. So the queues are going to be like end of the world level. Like they're going to be crazy. You're going to be in that queue for ages. But the good thing is that because it's going on until Tuesday, there's loads of time to kind of jump in, you know? So the queues won't be the long, they won't be long all the way through. So you have to kind of figure out whether to go right when they open, go early in the morning when people are still sleeping or maybe still raving elsewhere. Um, you're going to have to, fit, you're going to have to work it out somewhere or the other, but the queues are going to be crazy. Um, but obviously the one good thing is that usually because it's in the winter months, you know, not a lot of tourists will go. I don't think so. Um, it still be busy anyway, but you're going to have a good mix of people there in terms of a crowd. So it's going to be a pretty decent crowd there. For the last time that I went to a club, Sylvester was fucking sick as well. And again, you you, got, you know, it's the best bang for buck you're going to be able to spend. If I'm not mistaken, the New Year's Eve events are usually a little bit more expensive than the regular tickets. If I'm not mistaken, again, I'm not going to, I don't want to put it out there as a fucking concrete info, but I'm pretty sure that they kind of put the price up a little bit higher. 
So if it's 25, it might be 30 or 40, whatever it may be, right? Temporary price change. So um, be aware of that also. But again, great bang for buck. And if it does flop and you're kind of, you know, you're not in the mood, there's plenty of a place you can go to on that weekend. It's going to be absolutely crazy for events running all the way through. If anything, the good thing about fucking Berlin when it comes to New Year's Eve parties, they usually do New Year's Day pretty well like they're not really a new year's eve type of place i don't feel like i feel like they put a lot of the energy into the new year's day thing because they can party where through the week so you've got all the options to go and have a good time so definitely check that out if you're that way inclined definitely go and check that out if you're that way in